Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Monday, April the 25th, and we're going to pick up here in the wonderful and encouraging Word of God. And as we do, as Christ has been compelling us to seek the kingdom of heaven. The question is, is what is the kingdom of heaven worth? Well, the kingdom of heaven is worth everything. But without Christ, it would be nothing. But Christ in heaven is everything. We get everything. And when we find this treasure... We ought to be willing to give up any and everything that we need to so that we can lay a hold to it. And he, pe he teaches these uh, truths here as we pick up this morning, picking up in verse 44 of chapter 13. He says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he covereth it up. And for joy, therefore, he goeth and selleth all that he hath, and he buyeth that field. He says he coming, he was stumbling along and he just happened to find this treasure in the middle of a field. Well, he knew he didn't own the field. And so he went and he sold everything he had, give up everything uh, so that he could buy that field because that's how much that treasure was worth. And that's like the kingdom of heaven. Whenever we come across the kingdom of heaven, we realize the glory of the truth that we can be saved, redeemed, forgiven, washed, clean, right with God and, and given eternal life. Man, we're, what are we not willing to give up that we may obtain that glorious kingdom? And then he says in verse 45, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, and sold all that he hath and bought it. And so he says there's, there's, there's just one uh, treasure that's worth every other treasure you've ever had. And it's the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is the greatest treasure that we can see. And then he says, verse 47, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered every kind, which, when it was full, they drew it to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast away the bad. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and shall sever the wicked from the just, and shall cast them into the fireness of fire, and there shall be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. What is the kingdom of heaven worth? It's worth everything. For if you miss the kingdom of heaven, does it matter what you had while you were here upon the earth? You'll end up with weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth if we do not have the kingdom of heaven. I'm thankful. It doesn't matter what I have here. I have an in incorruptible inheritance that I have been made heirs and co-heirs with Christ Jesus and what does he own he owns everything and that is the kingdom in which I'm looking for I'm looking for that that glorious city that's made by God that's going to come and we're going to be a part of an everlasting righteousness and peace and we don't have to worry about the labor and toil and the, and the pain and the sorrow and the death and the destruction and the division all the stuff we're seeing right now how much is the worth? How much is the kingdom of heaven worth? It's worth everything. To have the kingdom of heaven is everything. And then Jesus asked them, verse fifty-one. Jesus said unto them, "Have you understood all these things?" And they said unto him, "Yea, Lord." Then he said unto them, "Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and of old." And so he says, you're going to write the things of the past. You're going to write the things of the future. And that's what we get to do, to see the glorious things that God has done and see the glorious things that God is going to do. And what he's going to do is even greater than what has already been done. But out of the treasure, he writes about the glorious God and all of his workings, trying to bring people into his kingdom. He's casting the net. He's casting the net into the sea of people He's gathering them all together, and then he's going to separate them. Which will you be? Will you go into the vessel with the other good, or will you be cast uh, into the fire where there are weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth? And so I pray today that these words are encouraging to you to seek the kingdom of heaven, to be willing to give up whatever uh, it costs to lay a hold to the kingdom of heaven. So go forth today mildly in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged.